what's poppin'? First episode, Lord of the Pies. We're here at Pizza King. We got people piled up behind us, so we're gonna get a nice parking spot. So where are we again? Where are we at? Warwick, Rhode Island? I don't think so. Yep. Post Road. I know where we are. I'm just fucking with you. But it's right by the airport, Warwick, Rhode Island. I personally have never been here before. Dope House PVD behind the camera. You been here before? Nah. So we've never been here before. So we're gonna make it really, really easy. We're gonna try to get the best pizza. So Rhode Island Food Fights came up with a little coupon book that goes over all the different pizza establishments in Rhode Island. They don't cover all of them, but they cover a lot of them. And it is called the Lord of the Pies. So we're gonna put it to the full test and we're gonna see who is the best in Rhode Island. So the first one on the spot is this one and we're gonna check it out. Here at the first stop, Pizza King. So, not to copy anybody, but just to make it easy and really give a true judgment to every spot that we go to, we're gonna do cheese pizza. Just cheese, because that's gonna determine if a pizza's good or not. That's all you need. Me, my fat ass would order everything on the pizza. You know what it is, it's fat way. But we're gonna go with cheese to make it nice and fair. So this is the first pizza we got. Looks like they got some, maybe some seasoning on the crust. Maybe a little bit of cheese or something like that. It's kind of like, I mean, it looks like some microwavable shit. I won't fit, I won't lie. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that it's not gonna taste good. Pretty sturdy, not so floppy. It smells decent. So the little, little bit of crust that's there, very, very, very little. I'm a big fan of crust, but it's nice and crunchy, very tasty, I like it. Let me go in for one more bite before I give you my true opinion on this one. It's not bad, it's very tasteless though. I don't taste a lot of flavor in the sauce, it tastes pretty bland to me. But, yeah, not it, it's not the one, kind of leans towards a very, very well prepared, maybe, it's poop, oven pizza, like, you know, you buy it at, like, I mean, my fat ass will eat it, you know how it is, it's, it's okay, but it's not, it's not, it didn't hit the spot, off to the next spot. Flavors, but Pringles are disgusting. disgusting. Yeah, I need it, so I let this exotic come for me. Oh shit, remember these reptile bars? Yeah, I'll take three. Love this mac and cheese. All right, cause we're here so at Pizza J. And I gotta say, I sound like I'm not that fat because I've never been to this place either. I guess I only go to the good spots. But Pizza J, it's on the Lord of the Pies. We're gonna check it out. Westminster, Providence, Rhode Island, my hometown. We're on the west side. <laughs> Nah, I'm just joking. We're on the West End. My boy AWOL over here from Dope House PVD hates when they call it the West Side. Yeah. It's the West End. So get that right. But, Dope House, you've been here before? Yes. And what do you think so far? The pizza's good. Okay. Yeah, the well, pizza's that's, good. That's good to know, especially coming off that last one. That shit was trash. He <laughs> did. Pizza J. Let's go get it. So right off the rip, definitely a different style of pizza. It's the very thin, thin pizza. Not, not bad in my opinion. I like it a lot. The crust, nice and fluffy, airy. I think it's gonna be good. Let's try it out. So, the thing on top of it too, the way they do it, the pizza's been sitting there for a little bit. It's by the slice. They do make full pizzas too. But this has been chilling on the outside for a little bit. 
The crust still tastes fresh. It tastes nice and fluffy. Let's try this. Oh, it's a floppy one. Mm. Much, much more flavor. The cheese, perfectly amount on there. Me, I'm not a big, big sauce fan, so I, when I say that, I don't want tons and tons of sauce, or so like a really pasty sauce. This is really, really good. Got the flavor, you can see the parsley or the like oregano on there. Definitely a good pizza. Mmm. A little, little soft on the crust, but very flavorful, very good. Pizza J. Got food, I just need a girl to feed so we're on day one still, and we're gonna hit another one. Which one do you think we should hit? You asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you. Oh, uh, um, Vendas is over there, no? Oh, Constantinos. Are they still open? I don't know. What time is it? Yeah, they're still open. They're open till ten. Now let's go then. I think that's one we should hit. At Will's Aff, Constantino's Vendor Bar and Restaurante! We're at Pizza Spot. They're gonna be pissed when they find out we're here just for the pizza. Yeah. This place is cheating already. <laughs> How can we go to the other spots and they just give us a slice? We come here and they give us the whole pizza? Are you kidding me? Now, it pretty much is a cheese. It's got a little bit of basil on it. It's a cheese pizza. They call it a margarita pizza, but it's a cheese pizza. There ain't no meat on there. There ain't no bacon. There ain't no sausage. Pepperoni. Nah, this cheese, this sauce. A little bit of basil. I'll mess with the vegetables for this time. So it's, a, it's, it's floppy. Very floppy. It's saucy. Oh my god. The mozzarella. Thank you, sir. Just again. Dough is very chewy, very thin though at the same time, so it's not as crispy as I would like it particularly, but the cheese is super fresh. The sauce is like crushed tomatoes, really, really tasty. I'm not a big, like huge, like I said, sauce fan, but this one really works. Very, very cheesy. The mozzarella is super, super cheesy. But you can see over here too. See like the flour on the outside? You can kind of taste the flour in each bite that you get into. But overall, it's a solid pizza. Definitely mess with it. Vendor, Constantino's, around the corner, that was out. Come get you one. Day one recap. We went from bad to better to good. On to day two for the next challenge. The next Lord of the Pots. Day, day, day.